Hey, this is Rick Terrell, your main real estate guide. I'm on location. It's November 19th. I'm standing here by my truck at, at uh, United Country Lifestyle Properties Maine Central Office here in Lincoln, Maine. Uh, a week from today, we're going to have a new addition to uh, the Terrio household. Uh, we just, uh, my wife and I looked at a, a, a young German short hair puppy uh, last week uh, who's going to be coming to, to join our family and become Blazer's hopefully best buddy without too much drama. In the Terrio household, well, uh, <laughs> well, that adjustment period, uh, go, we go through that. Uh, this is also the first time we've ever tried to potty train a puppy uh, with winter coming on, so this should be should be interesting. All that being said, um, I'm having difficulty uh, this time coming up with uh, with the name of the dog. Uh, uh, we've had uh, we've had three. Uh, German short hairs. We still have one blazer. Uh, the, the first one was trapper. Second one was ranger. The last one was blazer. So that's kind of the track record of the type of names that uh, we've had in the past. And what we've come up with for options, and I'm looking for help from for you, if you would uh, participate in the poll. I've got the top three that we've come up with, and with the fourth one being other. So in for other. <clears throat> And put that in the comment section. We'd consider that as well. So here are the top three. Terrio's Northwoods Tracker, call name Tracker. Terrio's Shotgun Boomer, call name Boomer. Terrio's Grand Slam, call name Homer. So if you'd uh, cast your vote, we'll give it great consideration. The puppy's coming to live with us in a week. God, we, we need to have something to call him other than puppy. <laughs> so, we appreciate your help. So please, please vote, and uh, we'll uh, we'll let you know what uh, what we select here in, in short order. Thank you very much. This is Rick Terry, your main real estate guide. Until next time.